Hello, everybody. This is Mickey Clayton with the Clapham Athletic Show. You want to know who we have with us this week? Y'all tuning in to see because you already know it's the crew. They bring all the energy, all the funk. You see them everywhere. They're on social media. You see them just doing their thing. These young ladies, Coach Hunter and her staff. In fact, I'm going to get out the way and let Coach Hunter take over coach how you doing today i'm good how are you oh it's always a pleasure to have the crew on well, that's right <laughs> coach i need you to introduce who you have with you today okay so today i have along with myself i have um my assistant coach karina badger um i also have my returning cheerleader, she is not new to the show, Latricia Jones. And then I have my new cheerleader, Kennedy, with us today. Oh, you got new and old. You got a rookie and a vet. Yes. Oh, well, welcome to the show, ladies. Y'all have so much going on. You just had, what do you call it, Panther Madness you just had this week? And then you had, what, uh, trials a couple weeks ago? and. Mm -hmm. I just see y'all just doing some everything. Coach, what's going on? Y'all just got it going on. What, what's the crew doing? Yeah, we're trying to stay busy. So we just had Panther Madness. Um, that was a success. Um, now we're just trying to work on getting ready for homecoming. And the, now what does that mean, getting ready? What what, what y'all doing? Um, just going over cheers, chants, dances, um, trying to work on our crowd involvement. Just, you know, getting it together for the season. Ah, Coach Karina. Yes, sir. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing pretty good. How's it? How's this team look? They they ready? They getting ready to go? Y'all got them ripped up? They ready to go? Oh, yes. We made sure of that. We made sure every person that we picked on this team is going to bring it this season. So we're going to give y'all a show for sure. I'm going to bring it this season. Y'all bring it every season. I know that's right. Y'all got a rip. I mean, y'all y'all bring it every every season. When I saw y'all last year, I think I took more video of y'all than I did of the basketball teams playing. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> they, they have, have so much energy. I mean, it, and it's really easy to keep up with you on social media. And I appreciate y'all following, following us. But we, we keep up with you on social media. And um, coach, I see that you had two young ladies last year made the all CIAA team on the yes. chilling squad. Tell us about those young ladies and what that meant to Claflin to be able to have that accomplishment. 
Well, for one, it's always a great accomplishment to have uh, some members stand out for the squad. And they were selected because we felt like they were a good representative for the squad, a good reflection for the team itself and the university as well, especially the athletic department. So it meant a lot. Okay, okay. Uh, who off that team who made it all made it all CIAA last year? Who's with us now? Uh, right now, we still have Miss Latricia, and uh, last year our graduating senior, her name was uh, Nyra Nelson. See, now that's always an accomplishment when your young ladies graduate like that. That's yes. that's the ultimate reason and purpose for being here. But see, what people don't they fail to understand is all the work that goes in to compete. And still have to maintain your grades to be able to do that. That's that's not easy to do. Miss All C I Double A, tell tell me how difficult that is. Tell, tell a listening audience and viewing audience how difficult that is to manage your time like that. Okay, so this is my third year cheering and um, being in college. I'm also an honor student, so I have a lot to manage on my plate. Um, I have to do community service. I have to go to practice. I have to make sure. I submit my assignments, apply for internships, scholarships. So it's not just how you present yourself on the court, but also how you present yourself in the classroom. And whenever we go travel to other schools for um, seminars and things like that. So it's all about time management and just making sure you take care of yourself first so that you can push your best self forward. How difficult was it for you to learn how to manage your time from your freshman year to now? Ooh, okay, so freshman year, I struggled um, mainly because, like I said, you have to take care of yourself first. And I'm from Houston, Texas, so coming out here, I was homesick. I was really just trying to fit into a new environment. But once I got um, a hold of how to, like, work through things, and I also um, went through, like, a program that the school offers, UNIV 101. So they teach you how to do like time management and they teach you how to basically work through college as a first year college student. What advice do you give to the freshmen who are coming in? I'm sure you you talk to them and try to make sure that they don't make the same mistakes that you might have made your freshman year. Well, so I always stay on them and make sure they go to their study hall for one because all freshmen have to go to study hall and first um, – Time cheerleaders have to go to study hall. That's for one. And I always tell them, just make sure, you know, you get your assignments done early so you won't be scrambling last minute. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm actually a transfer student. I'm a junior as well. Okay. And yes. Um, Where'd you transfer I, from? Where'd you I transfer, transfer from? from? North Carolina Central University. Okay. Okay. So. Yes, I've had to learn how to take heat to especially the study hall hours and make sure I I make sure I get them mm -hmm. and make sure I meet the requirements and also being able to juggle one transferring, one adjusting to a new environment, a new school, um, and also just being able to cheer again. Okay, okay. Tell us a little bit about transferring. You you were in the North Carolina Central, which was the MEAC. And now yes, you're in the CIAA. Yes, sir. How do you see the difference? Well, I feel like the difference between MEAC and CIAA is definitely the competitiveness between the teams. Um, all, since we are like a more, I would say it's more broad because of the styles of cheer, because we're more of a Southern style and then they have. Some other schools have more northern style of cheer and stump shake and how they define it as how they define it as their style at, at the school. But here at Claflin, um, it's definitely it's been something. It's been something new. It's something exciting. It's something new at practice every day. Um, I'm always constantly on myself, making sure that I'm the best for my coaches and also for the best like Trish. And maybe to possibly be in a place like that and maybe be an all set of the cheer committee. Coaches, uh, either one of you, um, there is a difference in the styles that, that she just spoke about. Explain to the viewers a little bit about the difference in the style. Well, to me, I feel like MIAC gives like traditional, you know, kind of like a stickler. 
I don't know how to explain it, but like with CIAA, it's like stump shake, hardcore cheer. Like you put, yeah, you got spirit in a traditional cheer, but it's like hardcore, you know, it's traditional, but it's, it's traditional with a little flavor. Let's just say it like that. A little okay. seasoning. Okay. Okay. Oh, I look at it doing a little hand like that. Coach <laughs> Karina, what, what do you say to add to that? Um, I was going to say she's spot on with it, especially I would say with uh, Miag. I mean, I would say they somewhat similar, but you definitely see a difference because they do still maintain a lot of traditional, you know, um, things versus how we are. I mean, we keep it traditional, but we don't because we add a little more flavor. Okay, we put the stumping in, the shaking in, and you're gonna see it and you're gonna feel it, which makes the big difference. So, yes, I think your fans enjoy that better. <laughs> um, when I play basketball in Ohio, that's how the cheerleaders were at the black schools. When I came to South, came south, it was completely different, and I was so disappointed because I was used to the stomp and shake. <laughs> And that just was a whole different way of getting the crowd involved. To me, that's just my own personal taste, you know. And, and I, I and I like it with the little seasoning in it. I, I think that's what adds a lot to it. And that's why I kind of prefer seeing the CIAA chip. It's, it's just, just personally, I like it. You know. Uh, Viewers, y'all, y'all leave a comment. Let us know what you what, what you prefer. Let us know so so that we can ask and talk about it later. But we'd like to know your thoughts on it. Okay, coach. When you we always talk about the CIAA, and I keep finding out the different things that y'all do at the tournament. You know, the performance you did. It was like Rhythm Nation or something like last year. And I told you, I see y'all, and y'all are really very easy to follow, to keep up with. And I think that's excellent uh, in terms of letting people know what you're doing, how you're doing it. Do you find that that uh, helps expose your program to be able to do that like y'all do on social uh, media? Anybody? Yeah, I feel like that's the new trend for today's youth. Um, social media, Kids are always on social media from high school to even lower than high school, older than high school. So, yeah, I feel like that exposure is really well because now we're not only on Instagram, we're on TikTok as too. Y'all can follow us at Cheer. But, um, yeah, so I just feel like that's a lot of exposure for us. Okay. Yeah. Do you have uh, high school students who are coming or students who are getting ready to come to class and reach out to you at all? Yeah, so we have um, coaches texting us on Instagram, students texting us on Instagram about potentially coming to Claflin Cheer. Okay, okay. And and sitting there to your left, Coach, all quiet today. I, I've seen her on uh, her social media with, with her swag. I, 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 I've seen her. She has a whole different air than what y'all looking at it now, but she got a whole different swag on social media. You need to follow them. Tell them some of your social media sites that they can follow you, Coach. Someone? That they can follow Claflin Cheerleading Team. How, oh. Tell us how they can follow them. On Instagram at Claflin.Cheer and also on TikTok at Claflin.Cheer. Okay. Okay. Um, and some of them have their own individual accounts that they're pretty active on. <clears throat> oh, they <laughs> Instagram at famous underscore Trish and on TikTok as famous underscore Trish. Get that name, y'all. Well, I'm sorry. Can... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I want to hear yours too. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at sanaxvan. That's S A N A A X V N Y A N E. Y'all need to keep up with all of them because uh, the crew really has a lot of things going on, even though their, their coach is a little shy on here. She's not shy when she has them, boy. She has them ready. Uh, their, their personality shows with them. They enjoy what they're doing. I mean, you don't 
you do not have a moment where you're not being entertained because they go the whole day. And they're always doing something. I mean, they, they're, they're interactive with the band. And, uh, they got the jungle going. They come out with the teams. I mean, well, either one of you, what is your favorite part about being a chili? I go first. Um, my favorite part about being here is really bonding with my teammates. I look at them like sisters. So whenever we do go out to perform, whenever one of us is nervous or down, we always have a show. I would have to say yeah. my favorite part about this team. I'm a big fan of the church, and I'm going to say bonding. Like, I definitely love the bond that we're starting to form, especially when we're at practice or, like, whenever we see each other, like, getting down, we're able to support each other emotionally, mentally, and really be the sisterhood that we're supposed to be. Okay. I, you know, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I wasn't expecting that, the bonding. That, that has a lot to do with the uh, the young ladies on the team and the coaching staff to create that type of atmosphere that that's what y'all enjoy the most. Coach, what are uh, some of the bonding things that y'all do? What, what do you, I know y'all do some different things for your young ladies, and the two of you probably get together and, and come up with the, the whole year on what you're going to do, but what are some of the bonding things that you've done? Because I, I think I've seen some things on social media. Well, we be trying, I will say that, but this year they are constantly having things that they're doing on like the campus or just for the athletic department. So a lot of times those are the main times that they get time to spend, you know, bonding with each other. And it does take them, it does work out a lot. So for instance, we just had a bake sale uh, for Make-A-Wish for the children. And that gave them the opportunity to get together and bond and bake and, you know, just bond, do whatever it is and release whatever stress with one another without us being there. So that was their moment to share. And yes, every time we can or try to, we do make that possible for them. What happens when you have somebody bake something and they don't know how to cook and it's not too good? I oh, we, all, we all blessed. I got the flavor. <laughs> I'm not a baker, so I definitely leave the bacon to them. <laughs> so that's what happens to people who don't bake, who can't bake, don't bake. We stay out the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did you, how did you do? I know that you got homecoming coming yes. about two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks should be yeah. The middle part. What are some? Yeah. Some of the things you have planned for homecoming, or do some of the cheerleaders come back for homecoming? Um, as of right now, we cannot disclose the secrets of homecoming. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you, say you can't disclose the secrets of homecoming. <laughs> when we pop out, make sure y'all stay tuned for when we pop out. Oh, these personalities are killing me. Y'all are killing me. <laughs> Coach, how do, how do you go through practice without laughing? Yeah, we don't. <laughs> it's a laugh Y'all don't, huh? Y'all be laughing at each other. It's a whole mixture of everything. Let's put it like that. <laughs> 13 personalities. Very, very much so. It's a lot of personalities on the squad. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But we make it work at the end of the day. We always make it work. We always find moments to laugh a little bit, but also get back to business first and foremost. At these games, who's the school that y'all look forward to competing against when you play them? Because they they bring it a little bit, and y'all kind of have a little thing back and forth with them. I know it's, it's got to be at least one. I would say from the past season, the game that I enjoyed the most was the Benedict game, uh, where we traveled to them. That game was like the energy was just high, like from both sides. Uh, with us being in their gym, like our school traveled, um, all of the students was there, our side was packed. It was a great time, it really was. Wow, I think the volleyball team said that too. Okay, this will be your first time making the CIAA swing, right? 
Who did they warn you about? Wait, I'm gonna address the elephant. Okay. Winston, they did. But I'm really excited for the experience and also the robbery, the different robberies that may have started this year. I have a feeling it's gonna be Okay, Winston kind of bring the funk a little bit. They they take a lot of pride. That's why I was asking are some of your former cheerleaders coming back at all. Now I've seen Winston when they bring their their former cheerleaders and they all get them together and they they do something. But that's right, you said it was secret, so I'm I, I <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't want to open up that can if it ain't ready to be opened. Up. I, I okay. But how's it when you go to the CIAA tournament? I always love to talk about the CIAA tournament. It's good. It's a good experience. I love taking the girls and letting them experience like the different teams. Even though we probably don't see all the teams in the um, it's still a good experience to see how other teams bond, how other teams do in their games and their game mode. So I love to take them and see, you know, it's just an experience. CIAA is truly an experience. So, yeah, it's like one in a lifetime. Uh, is is the cheerleading component like basketball? Only if the team basketball team goes, that's the only way the cheerleading team goes or everybody doesn't go? No, well, I think everybody has to come because um, at the end of the week, it is Super Saturday for the cheerleaders. Yeah, I, I don't think it's like no team comes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Everybody kind of say something special for that? Yeah, it's like a, um exhibition. You know, every team come and show a little performance, five-minute performance. Yeah. But even, even still on Super Saturday, we still don't get to see all the teams perform. Because we have to go, you know, perform. So, uh -huh. yeah, I like for them to see the teams as they go. And then when it's our turn, it's our turn, you know. Right. Okay. CIAA play is definitely, it's very hectic that week and very fast paced. So you have to catch us when you can, catch other teams as much as you can. Because it's like you're always on a tight schedule. You may be doing one thing this day and then you may not. It's You just got to pay attention. <laughs> wow. And and that doesn't even count the comp the basketball competitions that you have to cover. Right. I guess you could say we kind of follow the game until mm -hmm. Saturday. So Saturday is our day, you might as well say. And leading up to that is, of course, dedicated to the basketball players, but it's also for the cheerleaders to, you know, get their shine and for people to just see them based on what they've seen from social media. It's for them to see in person as well, which is always a good feeling. The basketball championship is on Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Okay, so okay, I, I get I see what they're doing now. So that leaves a time uh probably before the game for, for the cheerleaders to have their day. Right. Okay, okay. How many new young ladies do you have on your team this year? We have seven. Yeah, Ooh, that's six. Apple. six. Okay. Is that good to bring the new young ladies in, or do you like it when you have a veteran team? Um, I feel like I like both. I can't complain, but I feel it is good to have a new set of eyes, a new set of looks, you know, every year. So, even, and I like a vet team, but I also like a new team, too. Okay. Who comes up with the ideas for the skits and the routines? Everybody. The players them, th themselves come up with some of them? Mm -hmm. It's CIAA for us is a creative game. Like we put all heads together and make a performance. Wow. Wow. Is that the way it was at North Carolina Central too? <laughs> and so one thing about the difference in uh, conference, they didn't have uh, a championship or like an uh, exhibition where it uh, the cheerleaders got the shine that CIAA has, which is why I'm really blessed for this opportunity because I'm able to showcase my talents on a different screen, on a different level, on a different network, on a different mainstream, everything. So this is what I'm really excited for. Do the parents come out to see the team? 
Oh, most definitely. They can come as long as they get their tickets. They can come as much as they like. <laughs> if they sure can. Yeah. We always have to come support the students, of course, because they be needing it. They be nervous, so nervous. But once they see their loved ones, it's always a, a fresh breath of, uh, a breath air. I said that's so wrong. Can we cut that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you did good. You did good. You did good. What does it mean to y'all to see your parents up there? Well, like I said, I'm from Houston, <laughs> Texas, so my mama don't come, but she definitely is watching on TV and Instagram, TikTok, and she's reposting. So I know, like, um, she'll call me before the games. I always wish me good luck. And we pray together and things of that nature. So, you know, sometimes I wish that my parents could come, but I know, like, I have my friends from school there, all the SGA, SAB, they come out and support us, and they really show out for us. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. She says, uh, shout out to Claflin SAB and SGA <laughs> and Royal Court and Royal Court. Hey, I like that. That's, we had the SAB on about a month ago. We had uh, had them on, and they were talking about the jungle and how involved they had gotten, especially with volleyball, and how they were warming up to get it straight for basketball. And I saw some clips of them at volleyball. They 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 wild <laughs> out now. <laughs> wow, they weren't like that last year. They 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 a whole different crew out there now. So you know what's coming for basketball, then, right? Oh uh, y'all, y'all, y'all will be fine. Y'all, y'all all, y'all stars. Y'all, y'all will be fine. I, I love to talk to the cheerleading team. Y'all, y'all just always have such an energy about you. And when you perform, it shows. And like you said, the different personalities from the stands, you can almost see it. And it's like, wow. Y'all, y'all, I I tell you, I spent a lot of time watching y'all. Y'all were doing your thing. I was like kind of blown away with how good and confident confident y'all were. Congratulations, coaches. Y'all have done a, an excellent job with those young ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And they and I'm just looking at famous over there, just so chill right now. She's anything but chilled on our social media, y'all. Y'all need to go follow her. Why you calling me out? Anthony, she got that swag now. Y'all need to go watch. You need to go see her. They got different personalities. But they are together. They're, they're a group that does uh, clap them very proud. They do an excellent job of representing the school and representing themselves and their families. Y'all y'all would be very proud of these young ladies and the leadership of this program. Young ladies, we appreciate you being with us. Thanks and uh, oh, always, always. I Again, I, I told you last year, I, had to come to CIAA. Y'all keep messing around. I just know I'm missing something. I already know it. Oh, we seen I you. Know. I, <laughs> I know that's right, but hey, I, I know I'll be there too for homecoming or one of the games. I know I'm coming home to see one of y'all games. But um, I, I like to see y'all when y'all in y'all element because y'all be in y'all element. Well, you should definitely make sure you come for homecoming because you don't want to miss homecoming now. You know what? I got it on my schedule too. But I appreciate y'all. I, no, I'm stop, stop looking at Coach Cruz. Well, she, she always puts you on the spot every year. She be on there. She be, she be putting you on the spot. I, and I appreciate it. I really do. I thank y'all for being on. And I thank you for being who you are, the entertainers that y'all are. We appreciate you.
on Facebook. I liked. I liked it on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Insights. Yeah. Two eyes in the middle. I-N-S-I-I-G-H-T-S. All right, y'all.